Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine and today I'm going to be going through my nighttime routine with you. Um, I'm super excited because, you know, this is just making me feel nostalgic for 2015 YouTube. Anyway, so first things first, after a long hard day of doing absolutely nothing, um, I start to get a little bit hungry and I decide that I should probably make myself some dinner. Uh, tonight was super basic. Uh, we just had sausages and we also bought KFC chips to go with it because, you know, why not? Treat yourself. Um, I do promise though that other nights are a lot more interesting. Um, and while we have dinner, uh, I just chill with my family and we watch movies and things like that. Then as it starts to get dark, I start to get ready for my shower. So I just go into my skincare drawer and I pick out the products that I'm going to use. Welcome to my super aesthetic bathroom. Since I've gotten older, I don't know, like as soon as I turned 18, I was like, alright, I hate showering in the morning now, I can only shower at night. I don't know why, but showering at night has become like my favourite thing in the whole world. So here are just some products that I use in the shower. I use the Zoella shower sauce. I love using Zoella's body washes. They always smell so amazing. Uh, for my hair, as a lot of you will know, I've got blonde in my hair. So I use the uh, No Yellow shampoo and hair mask from Fanola. I think that's how you say their brand. Also, I just want to say that my armpits are dark because of my fake tan. And of course, I've got to choose my tunes. That's a really hard sentence to say. Choose my tunes. Okay, I've really been loving listening to my top songs of 2018 playlist made by Spotify. Ever since the Spotify stats came out, I've been loving listening to the playlist they've made for me. And of course, there's an ad because I'm too cheap to get Spotify premium. Then after belting songs at the top of my lungs for about two hours, I decide I should probably take my pruny self out of the shower and start my skincare routine. So I don't actually wash my face in the shower because I've heard that's actually really bad for your skin. So yes, as I got out of the shower, I still had my full face of makeup on, but now it's time to take that off. So I'm using my Neutrogena Deep Clean Cooling blah 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 cleanser. You've heard me talk about it a lot on this channel, but it is amazing. I love it. Uh, it smells amazing. It just does all wonders for my skin. So that's what I use to take sort of the first... A layer of my makeup off.
And of course, knowing me, I gotta get some cleanser in my eye. Then I take the micellar water from Garnier on two cotton rounds and I just use that to get my eye makeup off. Then going in with the Dr. Lewin's Firming Eye Cream and yes, I am finally using it how it's meant to be used. I'm not using it as a primer anymore, but what I do is I just take a little bit of that and I just pat it into the skin under my eyes. Next, for moisturizer, I'm going into the go-to very useful face cream. This is another product that I've talked about quite a bit on my channel. I'm just going to go in with a really tiny amount so it'll just leave a really light layer over my skin and just massaging that into my face. Now it's time for my favorite product. You're definitely gonna see this in my next favorites video, but this is Bio Oil. It's meant to be used on like stretch marks and just like skin impurities and things like that. I've only been using it on my skin recently, mainly focusing on the areas on my skin where I've got keratosis pilaris. So that's basically my lower jaw area. And last but not least, I go in with this Crabtree and Evelyn lip balm. Now it is time to brush my hair. It is always a struggle because my hair is so thick and long and it's so annoying, but someone's gotta do it. Otherwise, it's just gonna end up like a bird's nest on top of my head. So I just split my hair into two sections and I just use this wire brush to try and, you know, get closer to the roots, I guess, just so I can try and get out every single knot in my hair. Please enjoy this footage of me singing to my mum who was standing outside the bathroom door. Why am I so weird? <laughs> okay. 
So after brushing my hair for basically a million years, I finally head back to my room, close my curtains so my creepy neighbours can't see me, and I get dressed into my comfiest PJs that I own. Look at that editing. Flawless. I also just want to take this time to mention that my t-shirt has unicorns on it. So then I fill up my drink bottle and put ice cubes in it. I just feel like ice water, I don't know, it helps relax me, I guess. It soothes my body and my soul and all that jazz. Then tonight I was actually craving hot chocolate, contrary to my whole spiel about ice water. But yes, I was craving hot chocolate like I do most nights. Can we just talk about how cute this mug is? Shout out to you, my friend that bought this for me for my birthday. have this obsession with stopping the microwave on one. I don't know why I do it, but I do it every single time. Gotta have marshmallows. Then I just trudge along back to my cave and just get ready to chill. This is also the time of night where I try and get the really important things done. Top of the morning, two ladies. My name is Jack. Up again. Welcome to a game call. Oh, whoa! It's me in the video. Hey. So I wanted to take this time to talk about an app. And no, this video is not actually sponsored. I know I'm probably like okay. setting it up that way, but it's not actually sponsored. The app I want to talk about. Um, which I will actually show me using in in just a moment is called Headspace. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about it, but basically it is a meditation app. Um, and I don't think I've talked about this in a video before, even like on my Instagram or anything. I have pretty bad anxiety, like pr it's 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 bad. It's real bad. <laughs> um, and it gets to the point where, for example, um. At the start of year 12, my final year of high school, we had to, we didn't have to, but we were invited to my teacher's house um, for like a barbecue thing with like all the teachers and stuff like that. Um, and I didn't know which one his house was. So my mom was driving me and she was like, okay, this is the address that we were given. And I was like, okay. But I was freaking out because I was like, what if it's not his house? What if I knock on the door and it's not him? And I'm just like, oh, I don't know what to do and blah, blah, blah. And I was full on sobbing, like sobbing in my mum's car, broom, broom. just freaking out because I didn't know if it was his house or not. And it was a scary time. But now I look back on it and I'm like, why <laughs> was I so stupid? So I know it was his house. I actually meditate for my anxiety and I downloaded Headspace last year. I think I downloaded it. So yes, it's amazing. You've got all these different things. So it's got all these different like tracks and stuff here, like uh, for different things and things like that. What do I have? I've got um, basics, appreciation, self-esteem, 
relationships, uh, transforming anger, sleep, managing anxiety. I just want to say, the guy's voice on this app is so amazing. Like, you'll hear it in a second because I'll play it for you, but oh my god, it's so good. But I've actually been getting into a bit of a routine and I've been meditating before bed. And yeah, it's actually really helped me a lot, especially with falling asleep easier um, because I stay up really late anyway. Um, it's just, I'm a night owl, it's just kind of part of my nature, but it helps me when I do actually decide to go to sleep, it helps me a lot to just fall asleep that much easier. Another app I want to talk about, it is called Sleep Cycle. I don't know if I've talked about this before. Um, basically, it tracks your sleep. So you set the time you want to wake up at and you just sit it face down and it tracks your sleep. And basically, based on what time you put in that you need to get up, um, it'll give you like a sort of bracket that it will wake you up in. So on here, just as a default, I've got 7.35 a.m. And it says wake up between 7.05 a.m. and 7.35 a.m. Um, I think I set that when like I was still at school. I haven't actually used this app for a while, but because it's tracking your sleep, it wakes you up at the perfect time in your sleep cycle so you don't wake up feeling drowsy. And you can choose like music to wake up to. Um, this is the one I've got. Ooh, I've just got like the default one. Uh, this is what it sounds like. So then I just try and make my room feel as chill and as relaxing as possible. Of course I have to light my Yankee candle, make the room smell all nice. And sometimes before I meditate I actually like to read. So at the moment I'm reading the series of unfortunate events series. <laughs> I'm up to the wide window that's the book with Aunt Josephine and it is so good. Now it's time to get down to business. That sounds a little dirty, but basically I'm just going to take some time out of my night and just focus on myself and my mental health because I feel like I tend to push it to the side a lot. Talking about changing our relationship with anxiety, changing our perspective with it. Then I just sit and watch YouTube or Netflix, whatever I'm feeling. I'm pretty sure here I was actually watching um, Joe and Diane on Strictly. They're my faves at the moment. Um, and right now I'm taking my Snapchat streaks photo. Look at me being a basic Insta ho. And obviously I gotta chill with my baby Arlo, he's not much of a baby anymore, he's grown up so much since the last video I did with him, oh my god it's crazy. Maybe I should do another video of him choosing my makeup. Look at how cute he is though. Also something I forgot to mention is yes I did brush my teeth, I just forgot to film it. Then I put my laptop away, blow my candle out, turn out the lights and snuggle down to sleep. I'm just kidding, I stay up till 2am. Well there you guys go, that is what I get up to in my evenings. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!